schools and being brought to for-profit charter schools in New York City. There's two specific things. They're increasing the per-pupil tuition payment for charter schools, and they're, in, they're going to create a new budget item where public schools have to pay for school-related professional staff in charter schools and for-profit schools. That's gonna cost us $224 million on year one. On year one, we did a study, I handed out a press release, NYSIT did a study where we looked at every single for-profit charter school in New York State, and they're sitting on $400 million in their reserve fund. We're forced to spend down our reserve fund on students, on education. They are forced to use their reserve fund to pay millions of dollars in management fees to their high executives. We found out Eva Moskowitz was paid $18.4 million last year in a management fee from these coffers. That's just a management fee. That's not her salary. Over and above. So my name is Mike Rubiak. I work for NICE and I'm a regional political organizer. I'm going to call up uh, Melissa Servant and she'll explain who she is and what she does for NICE here in uh, Dutchess. I'm the short one with the voice. <laughs> of all places is because we have tried to talk to Sue. She can actually help us. And she's been very silent with us, very cozy with charter schools. So we thought we might as well bring the conversation to Sue. Yeah. But she's not here. Wow. That's right. She'll know that we were here. So thank you for coming out on a Friday afternoon when when it's happy hour. <laughs> yeah, right down the street. Uh, I, am, I am a teacher in Wallkill, so I'm across the river. I am a political action coordinator for NYSIC for this district, so some of you have seen my name coming through on emails like, who the hell is that? Now there's a face to the name. So I, you'll be seeing more emails as we keep starting to do more and more actions because we are going to let Sue know we're not going away. So she's going to have to deal with us if she wants to stay where she's at. Because we do have that power also as time goes on. Just keep that in mind. So thank you very much. So now I'm going to ask uh, Kathy Taylor to come up and speak. For those who don't know, Kathy Taylor has been fighting this fight for years. She is one of our board of directors at NYSIT. She is an ED director for NYSIT. And I'll let Kathy take it. Too bad it wasn't summer. I could pretend I was surfing. Um, so as it was said, my name is Kathy Taylor. Some of you I know for years now. We've been on these picket lines over and over again. We've been talking about charter schools for a long, long time. Yeah. Most of us know that places like Albany were devastated. With 11% or 12% or more of their budget going to charter schools. And then the public schools being left without enough money for heat, to bus kids, to provide the right kind of education. And I want to know, that ain't right. What do you think? Do you think that's right? No, that ain't right. No, 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 that ain't right. And you know what else they've done in the past? By taking that money away from us, the kids they bring into them need special education services. What do they do when the time comes and those kids need the services? Where do those kids come? Back to us. Where do they come? Back to us.
because most of the time they don't do so well. Just locally or just in upstate New York, one of them failed in the middle of the school year and closes down. Can we do that? No! Would we do that? No! Are we on the front lines every single day? Yes! So I say to you, keep doing what you're doing. We're on the right side. Eventually we're going to win and we're going to make sure that our students are taken care of. So everybody say hi to Facebook Live. When our schools are under attack, what do we do? When our schools are under attack, what do we do? So I'm going to ask now uh, Sparrow Tobin, he's one of our uh, NYSET political action coordinators uh, over from Orange County. He made the trip over. Is Sparrow still here? Yeah. <laughs> All right, we're here to fight against charter schools, which is really a, a right-wing push to privatize education. They believe in this free market zealotry that if we let people do choice and competition, somehow, magically, it'll make things better. But it's a way to segregate schools, yeah. it's a way to take funds away from public education, and it's a way to cut back at, at teachers' unions, because teachers' unions are speaking up for public education. And why do senators like Serena, why are they interested in charter schools? We don't have any charter schools here. It's the money. They're getting tons of money from these folks, and this is how they pay them back. But it's a zero-sum game. When they take money from public education and they take it over to a charter schools, we don't get that money back. We still have to pay for our buses, pay for our, uh, pay the lights, pay for our teachers, and they're taking that money away. And what they do with kids that are not doing great or special needs, like Kathy said, they counsel them out and they push them back to the public schools. And But they keep the money, and that's not fair. And so we're fighting for public education, which is the greatest thing in America has ever done. It's the great equalizer. That is a civil rights issue, and that's why we're standing here. All right, so, you know, they try to mask their, their privatization <laughs> efforts with this whole charter school thing, but it's a way to take money because there's a lot of money in real estate in New York City. There's a lot of money in public education. This is a billion dollar industry, and they want to get their hands on it. And we need people that are heroes that are going to stand up against these people, not like Sue Serena. We need heroes, all right? So that's why we're here, and we need to push and push and push and to let them know they got to stand up for public education. We're the Thank heroes! You. We're the heroes! So the, the most important thing we can do as, as members in our schools, as people that work every single day, is we need to run for local office. Hell yeah! So what I'm going to do now, one of our members, he works at Poughkeepsie, he was a middle school teacher at Poughkeepsie for a very long time. He is, still is. He is a county legislator for Duchess, Craig Bradley. I'm going to ask you to Thank say a couple you. words. Thank you, everybody. Uh, and thank you for being here today. You know, of course, uh, I'll probably sound like the one that's most tired here because I've just had a very long day, as we've all had, because we've been up since 7 in the morning prepping and working for our students for their best interest. And thank you for doing what you do. You know, thank you. It's, you know, it's a selfless job and I appreciate each and every one of you for being out here at four o'clock on a Friday because we need to take a stand and make a point. We need a voice and we need Sue Serino to be a voice for public education. She is not currently doing so, but we need that voice. Right now, there's money sitting in there for charter schools. But, you know, when we look at the small um, cities suing the state for funds, we're not getting funds, we're missing funds. And you know what, we could be made whole by the state, but we're not right now. You go to all of our districts around Dutchess County, you're probably hearing it's March, April, you're probably hearing about layoffs probably. You know, a lot of districts are shrinking in size, and instead of making class sizes smaller to make things more successful, we're laying off teachers. That can't be. If we have less students, let's make class sizes smaller. We'll be the most successful schools ever as, as we shrink our class sizes. So please, 
Zoo Sereno because I saw the window just shut a couple minutes ago up there. Please, <laughs> Zoo Sereno, hear our call. We are your constituents. We vote for you. Or not. Well, we don't vote. Well, you get the VPN. But we, we, have, we have voting power here, and we want you to hear us. Please hear us. Woo! When our schools are under attack, what do we do? When our schools are under attack, what do we do? So finally, I'm going to ask uh, Newberg to come up here. Uh, everybody from Newberg, come up with the So New Newberg made the trip up because they are.